Apple has put out the latest beta of iOS 17.1. Here's what's new in Developer Beta 3. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. You are my favorite group of people as always. And I'm excited to talk with you about the new changes that Apple has released in the third developer beta of iOS 17.1. We even have a likely release date or release window for this update. So let's go ahead, I've got it installed, let's check it out. So here we have it, my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I downloaded the third beta, which weighed in at 639.2 megabytes. That is specifically for my phone. Your phone may differ depending on what model you have or what previous update you are coming from, but mine weighed in about 650 megabytes. If we check out our settings, we can see that iOS 17.1, we are build number 21B5066A. It's really nice to see the A here in this. So if you're not familiar with Apple's build numbers, basically the closer you get to the beginning of the alphabet, the more stable a build is. So last one, I think we were around uh, whatever the build number we were, plus an E at the end. Now we're at an A, which is basically as stable as it's going to be before release. So that's great news if you're waiting for this update to come out, but more on that in a few minutes. I've been digging around in this update since it was released and digging around online, and I found very few user-facing changes. Apple did say they fixed a few power consumption issues with watchOS 10.1 Beta 3, so that is nice. Uh, but as far as the iPhone goes, the only physical thing that I noticed is that this weird battery icon has been changed. I did take a screenshot of the last beta, so here you can see on screen how it has changed, just very slightly different, more rounded corners. They was oddly squared off uh, in the second beta of 17.1. The big change to actually talk about here in this update is how Apple is handling this issue in France. If you haven't been following this French saga, allow me to catch you up. France did regular testing of iPhone 12 and found that it exceeded the government mandated maximum output on radiation. Apple had pushed back against this, but France stood its ground saying that Apple would need to either recall all iPhone 12s in the country or issue a software update that would remediate the issue. So despite Apple still maintaining there was no issues with the iPhone 12, uh, they are going forward with a software update fix. They have submitted it to the French authorities who have signed off on it. And that update is arriving in iOS 17.1. So this update will reduce the radiation output levels of the iPhone 12, but only in France. So if you live outside of France, do you need to be worried about radiation levels on your iPhone? No, here is what's happening. Apple has released a support document outlining the specific situations that France was testing. Basically, Apple has sensors inside of the iPhone, and they have for a decade, that detects when it's on your body versus off of your body. So if you're holding the phone, if it's against your head, uh, in your pocket, anything like that, it maintains a low level of power and radiation output. But when you go hands off, you set your phone down on a table, you're not touching it, you're not near it, it will be able to ramp up the power and therefore the radiation. This is never happening while you are touching, holding, or using your iPhone. France was basically doing a test that did not take this into consideration, and they said the iPhone needed to maintain these low levels of radiation and power no matter what, even if you were nowhere near that iPhone. So that is what Apple is doing. In France, for those iPhone 12 affected units, Apple will be removing this and it'll automatically keep that power output low no matter what, whether you're holding or not holding your iPhone. So again, if you have an iPhone, you do not need to worry about the power levels, the radiation levels, anything like that. But this does deal with the issue that France is concerned with. So that's everything new that I found so far in Developer Beta 3 of iOS 17.1. But when will this update be released? We've always maintained that iOS 17.1 will be released sometime here in October. Apple has always said that the watchOS 10.1 update that includes double tap will be arriving in October. And these updates are going to coincide with one another. They're going to release watchOS 10.1, the same team as iOS 17.1 and iPadOS 17.1 and other Apple software updates. Now Apple has confirmed that because of the changes in 17.1 for the French, French, French regulators, that it will be coming out here in October. So we don't know an exact release date yet, but here we are on beta three. We can probably expect it in another week or two, depending on how the beta tests go. Let me know what you guys think, or if you found any other changes in iOS 17.1. 
let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or on threads at Andrew Heron 941. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more videos coming your way.